This is a species profile for tiger barbs or the Sumatra barbers are also known on account of them coming from that neck of the woods. It's slow moving, highly oxygenated, densely planted streams in Indonesia that they originate from and they are mid-level schooling fish. They are really cool schoolers. It's really good fun watching them bombing about the open space in between your plants. They grow to about two and a half inches. Uh, a pH of 6 to 7 and a temperature range of 72 to 80 degrees. Minimum tank size, you want a 20 long, 30, 40 breeders better, as they do need the open space to swim about in. And colour wise, you've got the typical tiger colour that most people are familiar with. I've got the albinos in there and the greens, which are probably my favourite, they are beautiful. For tank mates, you need fast or semi-aggressive fish that can stand up for themselves or stay out of the way because they are semi-aggressive themselves. Not aggressive like an Oscar, but they're nippy. So no brightly coloured long flying fins because they will get nipped. They got on well with clown loach. I don't keep clown loach with them. I think they probably get on well because they resemble each other, but your clown loach gets to over a foot eventually and likes to live in groups. So you either need a massive tank or a plan for moving them on when they do get big. Neither of which I plan to do. I'll keep mine with neons, rummy nose, a rainbow shark, a bristle nose and there's an algae eater in there. Siamese algae eater at the minute. The trick is to keep them in a group of at least six, maybe seven, because odd numbers seems to work. And what this does is keeps the aggression between them. What they do is develop a dominance hierarchy and they squabble between themselves while they establish it and tend to leave the other fish alone. Saying that, they will attack sick or wounded fish, so if you have one, you need to move it out to a hospital tank if you want it to survive. Feeding wise, they're omnivorous and they'll eat anything. They even nip at my hand when it goes in the tank, but you need to offer them a variety in their diet. You want to include high quality flake and pellet, live food that kind of satisfies their hunting instinct if you can provide it, or frozen if you can't, so brine shrimp, blood worm, stuff like that, and vegetables too. They like courgette and zucchini if you're in the US, de-shelled peas, cucumber, that kind of thing, and they go crazy for watermelon. If you don't give them vegetables, in fact, they start eyeing up your plants as a tasty snack. You need to feed little and often. I kept them years ago, and I'm sure I remember something about them not having a stomach or an inadequate stomach, something like that, which is why you need to feed them little and often. But I did a wee bit of research when I was putting this video together, and I couldn't find anything to back that up. So maybe one of you guys know the answer to that. And I heard that due to their hierarchy, they actually feed in order, like wolves do. But I've got 15 and they're so fast, it's tricky to tell really. Again, maybe if one of you guys knows anything about that, you can put it in the comments below. You'll need to make sure if you've got any bottom dwellers or slow eaters, that they're getting enough food because the tigers are so quick. They'll take all the food from the top so none gets down at the bottom. Um, they will breed, uh, but they'll also eat their own eggs, so you'll need a separate breeding tank if you want to do that, where you can remove the adults as soon as they spawned. They rest nose down, so if you come in and put the light on, and then nose down and maybe looking a bit paler than you're used to seeing them, don't panic, they're totally fine, having a wee chill. I've heard anything between living five years which i think is quite likely and seven years which i think is slightly less likely but mine are a long way from that obviously so i can't confirm that again if anyone else can hit the comments down below what i can confirm is that they're great with fish they've got loads of personality and i would highly recommend them if you've got anything to add or you can confirm some of the points that i talked about earlier Put that in the comments. We'll all help each other out, eh? That's what this hobby is all about. But for now, I'm out. Later, 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 later.